macOS 26 Tahoe has just been released, so here's how to download it and install it on your Mac. First, if you're using a laptop, make sure that you have your power cable connected or have a full battery. You don't want the battery to die halfway through the update. Also, make sure that you have a backup of any important files that you need to keep on an external drive, just in case. Now go to System Settings, make sure that General is selected in the pane on the left, and click Software Update. Your Mac will begin checking to see if an update is available. After a few seconds, you should see macOS Tahoe 26 appear, and you can begin downloading it by clicking Upgrade Now. Read through the license agreement and click Agree, then enter your macOS password, click OK and the download will begin. This will take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection. The size will be different depending on which Mac you have. On my M4 MacBook Air for example it's 13.26GB, while on my Mac Mini it's over 15GB. After the download's finished, the message will change to Preparing macOS Tahoe 26. Now your Mac is preparing your SSD for the installation of the new OS. Once it's done, you'll see a window with a prompt to restart your Mac. You can either leave it for 60 seconds to restart automatically, or you can click Restart yourself to reboot now and begin the installation. Your Mac will restart several times during the installation process. After the third reboot, you should see an indicator of the estimated time remaining below the progress bar. The installation will take about 10 minutes to complete. Once it's finished, you'll find yourself at the familiar login screen. Type your macOS password, hit enter, and you'll see a message saying software update complete. Your Mac has been updated to macOS Tahoe. Click continue, then click continue again, and then continue again. Now you can either take a quick tour of the new macOS Tahoe features by clicking continue, or skip it by clicking skip. And finally, you'll see a welcome message, and you can begin using your new OS by clicking get started. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them.